Welcome to the Minimasters, and today I'm going to show you how to put a transmission back in this truck. So I've gotten a little bit ahead of myself, and I have the transmission on the jack, as you can see. So we're in a prime setup to get this moving. Um, little side note here. If you can't get your vehicle high enough off the ground, you're going to go through this kind of rigmarole where you're going to have to get the transmission on the jack while it's underneath the vehicle, which is very tough. And I had uh, my brother-in-law help me with that, and that's how we managed to do that. So consider that. You may need two people for this. Otherwise, if everything goes well, you just need one. So we're here, and basically what you're going to try to do is using the jack itself and, you know, this thing's on casters, you're going to try to position this as closely, closely as possible to the back of your engine so that we get everything lined up. So let's get started on that. So I have my torque converter installed. I have a separate video on that if you just want to click that up right there. And so that's something that sometimes is best to put on right before you do this because it is very heavy. So I'm just moving my transmission forward. And my goal is right here and right here on the transmission, dowel pins line up with the back of the engine. So very important to get those on there and line them up. So without further ado, we're gonna start raising this puppy up here. Okay, so I've got it up a little bit more and I'm just gonna wanna inch this closer and I can keep raising. I just topped out, so I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Gonna line this up a little bit more, go up a little further. Now, you can probably see that it's wider here and it's closer and narrow at the top. So most transmission jacks have levelers like these. And so what we're gonna try to do is level this by angling it back like so. And you can see the gap is starting to be more even. And so I'm gonna push it forward some more. Okay, so you can see we're awful close, but again, we need to do a little more leveling here. And now you can see we're actually just a little too high, at least from a raising up perspective. All right. So at this point, you're just gonna keep lining and, and moving it around, trying to get those dowel pins lined up. So I'm gonna do that. If I come across anything you should know, I'll bring you back. Okay, so after probably about 10 to 15 minutes of fidgeting, Definitely be patient, take your time. Um, I got it all to line up, and there's a few really good indicators of that. A, this dowel right here lines up, and I can actually get this bolt through all the way, and it's actually still um, fairly loose getting it in there. The other good indicator is right here is your torque converter to flex plate stud right there that you'll put your bolt on. And so, like I said, I was just basically under here playing with these, moving the jack ups up and down. And believe it or not, I got to this point where I felt like I couldn't get that passenger side lined up and I actually lowered the jack down lower than I thought I needed to, really tilting the engine back and boom, it slid right into place. So sometimes your last move is the best move and that was definitely my last move. So anyway, the name of the game here is to start getting all of your bell housing bolts in place. Um, during the process, I did put this one in to help hold that dowel in place while I searched, while I tried lining up the other one. So that's something that's uh, in your toolbox of tricks you can use. So when putting these all back together, there's this bracket that goes around your fuel lines. And that actually goes up top here on top of your bell housing. And I'll show you in a second, but you actually put two of your bell housing bolts through that. So also be mindful that some of these bolts do hold other things. Your dipstick tube is held on by a bell housing bolt. So let's start putting those in. All right, so I'm at the very back of the transmission back here. This is the tail end of the transmission. Those are the bell housing bolts that are right on top. 
And so my trick with this is to put a whole bunch of impact extensions together. I mean, you can see this thing's pretty lengthy. And then I have my 5 8 socket on here. And so what I do is I take and I put one in there and then I just play a game of kind of fish here and I fish it all the way up. Now, you'll have to reach up with your other hand because there's this little bracket that I mentioned earlier that you'll have to put the bolt through. And that's how you do that. So anyway, I'm gonna drive that one home. There's another two bolts right here on the side, and you'll just have to put those in as well. Now, I've got one of them in already. That's that little brown head right here at the tip of my finger, and then that hole right there. Um, torque, 38 to 52, I believe. I go somewhere in the middle of at 45, but make sure you torque these down properly. I don't like taking chances with anything engine or transmission related, but when I was taking the transmission out, this one was actually loose. So definitely a good time to torque these things down and make sure they are tight. All right, get back to it. So straight ahead, as I mentioned earlier, you'd have to put this bell housing bolt in, but before you could do that, one minor step is to put your dipstick tube in. So this black tube right here is your dipstick tube, and it has this little bracket off of it that holds it there. So you'll just have to insert your dipstick tube and then you can put that bolt back in there. You do it before and your dipstick tube just flops around. So just a reminder. Once you get the bell housing bolts on, you're gonna to wanna to put these torque converter nuts on. They hold your torque converter to your flex plates. There are four of them. To bring them into this window here, you're gonna to have to rotate the crank and you'll see I have a breaker bar heading up to my crank bolt and I just spin the crank and that will reveal another stud. Once you got all four of them on there, you're good to go. They, the torque for those is 20 to 33 foot pounds. Make sure you torque them correctly. You do not want to miss on those. Since we we're in this general area on the engine, let's put our starter back in here. So typically people take the starter all the way out. I actually just kind of put it up here out of the way and I'm just going to put it right back where it was. I did that because I didn't want to have to undo all the harnessing. Not that that's hard or difficult to do. It was just one less thing I had to do. So you have a top bolt and a bottom bolt. So we're gonna get in here and we're going to feed our top bolt. Uh, let's see if we can get a little more light on the subject here. So we got that one in. And then we have our bottom bolts and, you know, Ford was very kind of us to use different size bolts. Uh, so you'll need a nine sixteenths and a half, the lower one's the half. So I'm just putting this hand tight just so you guys get the idea. Now, right here goes a plate. The plate's held on by this bolt hole and this one right here. Very simple. So you can just end up putting those back. So I'm gonna tighten all that back down and we'll move on to the next step. So we're here at the back of the transmission and I figured it's about time we get the rear support in here. So this is a little tricky because the exhaust is in place and it's, you know, there's no place where I can unhook it and make this easier. And I had to slide it out to begin with. So this piece has to go back here. And as you can see, this is already kind of hanging down and this piece will need to be under it. So to get us started on this, I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna angle it up here and I'm gonna use it as some leverage against this. And then I'll try to get that other piece in there. So as you can see, I've got it in place 
for the most part. Now I've just got to jack the transmission up here just a tad so that I can get these two bolts here down. All right, so we're lined up. I'm gonna let the transmission back down. Okay, so the transmission is, the full weight is now on the uh, cross support here. So basically the name of the game is to start putting all your bolts back. So there are two bolts that go here. There's two that are already here with nuts and then there's one here and that is duplicated on the other side and then there are two right here. So I'm gonna start putting all those together. We'll be good to go. Okay, so before you put the drive shaft in, you'll wanna put your, connect your cooler lines. And so you can reach from the back here and negotiate them on, or you can actually reach up and you get them in place. So just like that, I've got this one lined up and that one screwed in. Now, if you're wondering how I know which one it is, well, that's just something you'll have to remember or label them. But I happen to know that this top one goes up top because of the way the nut is kind of rounded off. So anyway, you'll want to screw those both in there, hand tight, and we'll keep moving on. All right, guys, so we're getting to that point where we can actually plug the harness back in. And so I had it draped over the frame, and so now it's time to put it back. So there's this big plug here. It's kind of got the red. And then we're going to go right on there. Okay, all set. And then we have another bit of harness right here. Oh, yeah, that one's on there. And then right around... The back side is a little plug right there. If you can see that little white thing right there. So hook that one up and your electric is done. Okay, next up, shift linkage. So this guy gets inserted down in here like that. And then this one over here, it's just a ball and you just press it on like that, no special tools. Bolt in here. This bolt is nut right here. Tighten them on and we're on to the next step. It's time to put the drive shaft in. And so it's just a yoke. And so you kind of just line it up like that and you slide it right into place. And if your transmission's in neutral, you can actually spin this. And then we go to the back. The transmission's in neutral, so I'm able to rotate the drive shaft. And I made blue markings on here, so I knew exactly the orientation. Not that that is terribly important, but I'm one of those people who like to put things back exactly where I found them. So you just get them lined up, and pardon the camera here, and then you're just gonna put your bolts through, and you're gonna bolt it up. now. If you are not the original person who took this off, you will need a 12 millimeter star type bit in order to do the bolt. And uh, that's about it. These are 60 to 70 foot pounds of torque. Don't get those wrong. All right, guys, so we're here. I have my truck off of the jack stands. I put back that little cooler hose rig I had up that I showed you earlier. That's just a couple of hose clamps. It's time to start adding fluid. So the truck has a 12 quart capacity. The best way to do this is do one of these jugs at a time. You're putting in Mericon 5 or V. It's a synthetic that Ford prescribed for this transmission. And do one kind of half a jug at a time. Check with your dipstick and you wanna do it while the truck is warm. And of course you do wanna do a recheck later once it's hot because it just takes a while for everything to get in. So I'm gonna get started and next you should see me rolling away. So I'm in this process of filling up the transmission, running the dipstick down, pulling it out. Like I said, you want it hot to know where it is. So right now it's still kind of coming up dry. So 
got to keep dumping fluid in. Well, guys, I figured a fitting way to end this video would be me driving my truck away from the machine shed back there. Um, just a little hiccup. Um, some of my fluid went missing, and I actually had to come back the next day, put fluid in it. And uh, here we are. We're driving. I went through this weird-ass chasm on the side of the machine shed, so trust me, this thing's working. So, guys, that's how you install transmission. See ya!